CCTV correspondent Liu Shen recently sat down with Mario Ravaglioni. He's director of the WHO's global TV program. The first one is really to optimize the care of the people using all the modern technology we have available today. The second is the one that deals with the social aspects of the disease, the health system aspects of the disease, which are crucially important. And the third is the one uh, related to research. Without new tools, we are not going to eliminate tuberculosis in the future. What are the challenges then? For instance, when we talk about reducing 90%, where are we? What progress have we made? And what are the challenges we have to cover? The incidence of tuberculosis now is uh, being uh, re slowly uh, reduced uh, over the past decade or so by what we say 1.5% per year, which is really very small. What we need is now to get down at 10% per year by 2025 and more than that by 2030. For this, we will need uh, certain items to be really addressed uh, as a priority. Number one is the fact that we are missing cases in the system. We know that there are more cases and what we get is a fraction of those. It's about two-thirds. We don't know about one-third of the cases of TB. They are hidden or they are simply not diagnosed. The other one is the multidrug resistant tuberculosis uh, epidemic, let's call it this way, which is particularly important in certain countries like India, like China, like Russia. And the third one is the interaction between tuberculosis and HIV AIDS, which is particularly important in the African continent. They all require special measures to be tackled. For the world's most populous country, uh, that is China, how do you evaluate the efforts that the Chinese government and Chinese people have made right. so far and what need to be done in the future? China is the number three highest burden country today. And China has been a model for global TB control because in the 90s and in the 2000s, in the last three decades, uh, what has been done there is quite remarkable. The prevalence of the disease and the mortality of the disease has come down quite significantly compared to 1990. What now needs to be done is to actually perfect this uh, system in such a way that we can now really have the ambition of elimination of TB in China. So it has to come down the incidence uh, much more quickly than it is today, number one. But number two, I would say probably the major threat is that of multidrug resistant tuberculosis. And uh, China has uh, one of the highest burden in the world, the second highest burden in the world for MDR-TB. And uh, there is where there is a need of immediate investment because the epidemic is spreading.